Well, they say everything's better with bacon, except this recipe cleans out your arteries instead of clogging them up. Believe it or not, this bacon is made from plants. Kara Brotman and Marcus Rothkrantz are now with us. They are the co-authors of a book called Love on a Plate. It's a new cookbook full of plant-based versions of some of our favorite foods. Great to visit with you guys. Oh, How you yeah, doing? You. Great to be here. Yeah. Okay, so we're making bacon. We are. From scratch. Any kind of meat. Yeah. This, yeah. This is, uh, we want to be healthy and meat obviously clogs arteries and everybody knows leads to heart attacks and stuff. But well, these are the foods our bodies were yeah. designed is, to eat. This is what we're meant to eat. That's beautiful. So we yeah. figured mm -hmm. out ways to use this, plants, to make all the foods that we love, like meat and things that look and taste just like it. So we're actually making bacon out of coconut? We are. Coconut meat, the inside of it, this is what the inside of a, a coconut looks like. It's got, no, not, not the brown hairy kind, this is actually the young Thai coconut. It's got more softer meat. When you scoop it out with a tablespoon, you get this, it's like meat. It's soft and gooey, just like meat. And what we do to get to make the bacon, for example, you cut it up into strips. And then this is just a mixture of soy sauce, paprika, and chipotle. Powder. So that, that gives you the flavor then. Yeah, that's it. And the color. And the, and the look of it. The look, yeah. So you just paint it on there like that. And if you wanted to get fancy, you could paint it in stripes you can so paint it really looks right, like bacon. Yeah, yeah, you paint the stripes on it. You put it on a dehydrator sheet, put it in the dehydrator. So that's the key then. You're, you're actually dehydrating it. Right, and that's the secret. <laughs> what people don't understand is heat is what kills your food. Can you pull that out? In nature, oh, oh yeah, this is, what yeah. It, this is what it looks like when, when it comes out. You can see it actually looks like real meat real and he actually painted it there. yeah painted <laughs> stripes there anything over 118 degrees kills the life force of the food okay if you take an apple plant the ground you get an apple tree if you bake the apple it's dead nothing happens no nothing grows out of it have her try one. Oh yeah i'd yeah, love yeah. to try one actually yeah, yeah. okay so you can cook it in two different you don't actually cook it but you dehydrate it two different ways either kind of flexible right like you this can have one. it rubbery like that or you can hard and crispy like this so you know people like the, the crunchy crispy here you can nice. try the difference of it Oh yeah. Uh, here's, uh, yeah. Here's I like the, the softer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I mean, that's spicy. Yeah, it's the chipotle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can add stuff to it, like the maple, maple syrup for the maple okay, that's, flavor. Okay, that's crispy, just like bacon. Right, and uh, we have onion rings, of course, for uh, yeah. We need onion rings. This with. is not deep fried. This is there's no bad oils or anything. This is just ground up flaxseed that we we dunked it in uh, soy sauce and then coated it with flaxseed and onion powder and mm. garlic powder. And not only do these um, not harm your body, these ingredients, they actually heal and help your body. This is what your body needs to thrive on. Right. So and what got you started long. on all this? Um, well, I'm a chef and um, I just I, I just heard people say too many times, so oh, I wish I could eat healthy, but I enjoy food too much. And you don't have to compromise taste your taste in order to eat healthy, and that's why we wrote this cookbook. And every recipe in there has to be that's amazing. Look, look and taste, just look like and the taste real or thing. it didn't make it in there. And yeah. here we made deli lunch meat, which is flexible, just like bologna. And the condiments, the ketchup, mustard, relish, and mayo, that's all made also by hand. We did it last night. Uh, at in home. a blender. Mm -hmm. At home. There's no dairy. There's no bad fats. There's no nothing. It's, okay. It's I can hear people saying at home, this is going to take me forever. But you say it doesn't no. take that long. It doesn't take long at all. In the beginning of the book, there's a section that shows you how to just a few things to um, set up your kitchen so that it's a breeze, so that it you is. don't run into problems and you can make it ahead of time. It's just very simple. Go each, on. each one of those condiments took me about, what, a minute and a half? Yes. And okay. you, you just throw some meat and greens in the blender and go, Wheat, and you're done. Uh, you saw how fast it was to make this. Yeah. You put it in the blender, you wake up, I mean, in, in the dehydrator, you wake up in the morning. And it's done. You, you got, got your you, bacon. You got your bacon. You got your meat. You got your deli slices. You got anything you want. All right, raw <laughs> food. You may want to try it. It sounds like a neat idea. The recipe for the vegan bacon is on our website at newschannel5.com. You can look for Love on a Plate wherever books are sold. Thank you all so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. A pleasure.